You haven't changed at all, have you? You have. You're stronger, meaner, sexy. Don't flirt with me, Catherine. I'm not Damon. I haven't spent 145 years with sex with you. By your choice of women, I'd say otherwise. Although it does bother me that you've fallen in love with someone else. I was never in love with you, Catherine. You compelled me. None of my feelings were real. Believe what you want, but I know the truth, and deep down, so do you. The truth? Well, the truth is you're the same lying, selfish, manipulative bitch that you've always been. So whatever it is that brought you here, let's just get it all over with and leave town. Because if you don't, I will hunt you down and I will rip your heart out. You want to know why I came back, Stefan? I came back for you. Well, the problem, Catherine, is that I hate you. You hate me, huh? Well, that sounds like the beginning of a love story, Stefan. Not the end of one. So we're going to hang out at Max's this weekend. Nice. I love that guy. Max is both his name and a level of awesomeness. Yeah, he's a great guy. They get along great. They bonded over hockey. I guess he has a small penis, but they want us to double date this weekend, so uh, I think... Why would you tell me that? So we'll clear up our schedule. No, the other part. On the small penis thing? Ah, stop saying it. Why do you keep saying that? I don't want to know that. I'm not going to be able to look the guy in the eye. Certainly not going to be able to call him Max. That's insane. Just because you know the guy has a small penis How doesn't- How can you speak of such things? You're kidding. Uh, every time I mention a woman that you don't know, the first thing out of your mouth is boobs. Not the complete sentence, does she have big boobs, which still would not be great. Just boobs. I do not do that. My friend Lori from boobs? work? Damn it. But seriously, boobs. So why is it okay for guys to talk about things like boobs, but then the second a topic like Max's small penis comes up, you guys get ah. What the fuck was that? It's not yours, Fiona. What the fuck is wrong with you? That was your mother. She was worried about you, all of you. She wanted to leave you something. Meth. That's all she had. Oh, Jesus. You don't know anything about your mother. She deserted us. She was a beautiful, crazy, wonderful, fragile woman. She left. She loved us. That was love? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> if she loved us, then why did she leave? You don't know what you're talking If about. she loved us, why wasn't she here? She tried. She always tried. <laughs> she left us. She was never fucking here. I was nine. Nine and taking care of you. Taking care of all of us. I was in the fourth grade dragging your ass back in from the cold so you wouldn't freeze your ass to death. I was the one that stayed up all night with Liam when he had the chicken pox, cleaning up Carl's shitty diapers. I was the one that was here when Debbie got her first period. Not Monica, me. And never you. You were always too fucking loaded. She was a junkie and a drunk. Enough. She didn't love you. She didn't love me. She didn't care about anyone but herself. I'm glad she's dead. At least now, she can't fuck us over anymore. 